Early in life, Ball State swimmer Ethan Hall had a goal. I'd always climb the sand dunes and you can see Chicago's skyline across Lake Michigan. I thought I was like five years old and I thought it'd be pretty cool to swim there someday. Hall grew up in Chesterton, Indiana, about 50 miles from downtown Chicago. 29 miles if you cut across Lake Michigan. And while some might call that trek crazy, it's a marathon and then some with no land in sight. It was just 11 years later that Hall made his first attempt. That day we had six foot waves. We had a north wind with 35 knots. And for every stroke I took, it was like taking two strokes back. It was awful. He made it only 10 miles, try one. But two years later, with better weather conditions, he ventured out again, taking his journey in steps. Every mile I'd come by the boat and they'd throw me a rescue buoy and i just kind of like float there for a little bit and catch my breath and get something to eat if I have to and uh, something to drink. And trying not to look down along the way. When you're in a pool, you can see the bottom and you know exactly where you are at every point. <laughs> when you're in Lake Michigan, it gets to a point where you're not able to see the bottom anymore and it's just a black abyss and <laughs> it's scary. But Hall wasn't out there alone, not just swimming for himself, but also for a 10 year old boy named Jacob Strohoff, diagnosed with juvenile diabetes when he was two. He's had a tough go and I, I met the family, I met Jacob and great kid. And I thought if I could raise money for him doing this, I could kill two birds with one stone, you know, and maybe do something great for somebody else. 29 miles later, Hall arrived at Oak Street Beach in Chicago. His mission, shy of his 18th birthday, complete. I got that buoy line and I swam in and I got to the point where my chest touched the, the sand because I was so used to swimming that I didn't understand I should just stand up. And in the process, raising about $2,500 for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and proving a point that for anybody, anything can be possible. I'm not the, the biggest guy in the world and you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how big you are. It just matters where your heart's at and what you want out of life. And that was what I wanted in life at the, at the moment. So I <laughs> just really got out there and, and did what I wanted to do. Joel Godet for PaulStateSports.com.